Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome to this next episode of the Free Energy Channel. Today, I want to talk about electricity and the future of energy. Now, I am coming across tons of articles that is expressing how we are going to run out of fossil fuels between the years 2030 and 2040. Now, if we're going to actually run out of fossil fuels, then we're in trouble because all your cars run in fossil fuels. Gasoline, oil, all those things are really, really, they're a standard. So I just want to talk to you guys about a few things you've been getting lied to about. For instance, there is already a hydrogen car that has been patented. There has been an RF frequency powered car invented by Sundulandi Chikambuso. I remember that right off the top of my head. A car powered off radio frequencies or the cell phone towers, should I say. And it's a very good idea. The guy's living happy in California. The next idea I want to talk about is the Earth battery, which was discovered by Nathan Stubblefield all the way back in 1878, I believe. The Earth battery, which over time evolved to something known as, you know, a saltwater battery, which I think is one of the most sustainable forms of energy besides the crystal battery that was discovered by John Hutchison. Those batteries can last for years on a single charge, and they're powered by crystals and no liquid. If you look up John Hutchison's channel, it will express everything about it along with how he's able to manipulate different matters, metals, and bond them together by throwing frequencies at them using his Tesla coils. It's really amazing stuff how he does it. Uh, another big energy problem that, or energy lie, should I say, that we've been getting lied to about is something known as radiant atmospheric electricity. Now, if any of you have seen in my previous videos, I have made a couple of recent videos demonstrating how I can tap in to high frequency voltage at a higher elevation. If you look into the science of it, there is hidden documents explaining how the magnetosphere works and how you can potentially collect voltage off of the ground and by the amount of wire you're using will judge the amount of power you can absorb out of thin air. Pretty different stuff. But what really has me connecting the dots is, is the electricity companies actually lying to us? Are all those Gwen towers or those ground wave emergency network towers, giant antennas and amplifiers due to the fact that they're actually tapping into the magnetosphere, which is loaded with high, high dense voltage. If you look up Laser Saber's YouTube channel, he actually does a perfect performance of showing atmospheric electricity and demonstrating how it works on an electrostatic motor. That really amazes me. It kind of tells me that they're absorbing voltage out of the sky and they are sending it through the power lines, which is also working as an amplifier because it's all magnetic. The whole magnetosphere is magnetic with voltage. So you can amplify frequencies with that given voltage. It's going to get even more weird. If you think I'm lying, look up Nikola Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower that he built back in 1901. He was going to do it to give everyone wireless electricity, wireless energy that could power your cars, your phones, at the proper given frequencies that would not affect our brains, our bodies, like it does today. We are going to get rippled apart by our government's rework of Tesla's discoveries. So I just wanna let you guys all know now that if you don't open your minds to Tesla's technology, we're all, going to be doomed and i hate to smile about it but everybody just jokes about it 
and I'm not really sure how to express myself at this point. I don't know how much time we are going to have left if nobody starts educating their children on electricity, educating their children on the truth about the lies, not conspiracies, when you're conspiring for the truth and you can scientifically prove the truth. Doesn't that make you a somebody? You have to really look deep. You have to you have to find the good in people and, and, and prove to them scientifically that there is a truth to this lie of a world that we have been programmed to. And Tesla is the only way to unlock this secret. There is no other way. Tesla is the only way you can unlock your mind. Remember that. Peace, guys.